Hey guys, today I took the leap and upgraded to Monterey 12.6.8. No, I am not on Ventura and I am not going to be running Ventura on my Mac Pro 5.1, at least not at the moment. So we go to Clover Configurator and we mount our EFI that we have OpenCore installed on. You type in your user password. You can see the EFI mounted on the right there. We can now close out of Clover Configurator and double click on our EFI, go to the Open Core folder and open our config plist. I'm sure all of you have done this before. Anyway, first thing we need to do is change the CPUID1 mask to uh, one of the A's, we're gonna change to a C, and it's the eighth one back. So I always count from the back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's the eighth one. We change that to a C, so it's exactly the same as the line of code above it. And then we're gonna go find the other thing that we have to change, which is the SM BIOS. And I like to just copy, paste, and search these, but sometimes it doesn't always work. I don't know why. Um, CPU would mask did not jump to the place in the config plist when I hit search, uh, but you can see it highlighted after the fact. So now I'm searching update SM BIOS, and this time the search scrolled me to the proper spot in the config plist. And now I'm going to go in there and set true to false. And you have to do these settings first before you will see the available update, which only came out a couple of days ago. And you should always back up your system before you do these updates just to be safe. And be sure to hit save after you've made the changes to the config plist. And now we can quit out of everything and reboot the Mac. Okay, I've rebooted. I just skipped that whole part because I can't record the reboot, obviously. And now we're going to go to System Update and click on More Info. And there it is, macOS Monterey 12.6.8. We're going to install now. Now this took, again, like 20 minutes. First it's got to download, then it has to install, then it reboots, and then it reboots again. And on the second reboot, it actually looks stuck. Uh, but you just got to be patient. It looks like the bar's not moving. It looks like nothing's happening. Then all of a sudden it jumped about two thirds of the way and then looked like it was stuck again. And then it finally rebooted. So it was several reboots, um, but then it was done and everything is working fine. So be patient. Don't force shut down the computer in the middle of the install thinking you're stuck. Unless an hour goes by and nothing's happened, you know, but it did take about 20 minutes for the whole install to happen. So now we're gonna go mount our EFI again. And the easiest thing to do is just to replace the config plist with the one that came with the open core package you are using. Never use a different version of open core's config plist from the one that you are currently using. I'm using Martin Lowe's Open Core Package 0.9.3. So I'm gonna go in there and just retype in the settings that were there before we changed it. So instead of false, we're setting it back to true on the update SM BIOS. And instead of the C, we're gonna set that back to an A, if I can ever find it. These config plists have gotten extremely long with all the code that needs to be in there to get this thing working. There it is, I found it. But again, you can just drag and drop the config plist over the one on your EFI that you made changes to, and that will revert it back to its original settings. And you want to make sure you do this one way or the other, because you will not have full performance on your Mac until you do. So make sure to hit save, of course, and then restart your computer. And as you can see, we are now running Monterey 12.6.8 with Martin Lowe's Open Core Package 0.9.3. Totally up to date. Everything's running smooth. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me the thumbs up and I'll see you on the next Mac Sound Solutions video.